This is um, from the Journal of Environmental Planning and Management in 2001. So it's not something new. It's been out for a while. It's a peer-reviewed paper. So we'll sort of half trust it, I suppose. And um, depends on who your peers are, I suppose, doesn't it? Um, this is the annual external costs of modern agriculture. There's a few bits missing, like health care. <laughs> but you know, let's, let's go down to damage to number two, the damage to natural capital from air em emissions of um, methane, ammonia, nitrous oxide and carbon dioxide, $17, million, $17 billion per annum. Now I know that's only about four weeks Iraq spending, but um, it's, still, um, it's still a fair bit that we're spending here. Let's go down the gap. Well, we've got, we've got about uh, two billion, oh, two and a half billion per year that's seen damage to natural capital that you have in water, um, biodiversity, landscape, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The annual bill is something like thirty-two billion dollars per annum. That um, that's the cost of um, of uh, agriculture, modern industrial agriculture. That equals per hectare of arable and grassland, about, well it's about $76 million per hectare. So what's that, whatever that is, divide that by about, about just, just give or take about 25 million bucks an acre. Not that much. That's about what Gunner's place is worth, I think. <laughs> He's minting soil out there. He's uh, really <laughs> you have to pay pay for the mud that comes off his place. <laughs> Is that expensive? Yeah. Well, it's even more. It's not. It's. It, he's actually. Um, he should be getting credit because he's not contributing to this ridiculous um, state of affairs. Isn't that insane? Now, how you wonder, you wonder how long this insanity can continue. Um, now another thing I wanted to have a bit of a talk about is um, carbon sequestration, trees or soil or both. Now most of you will have, um, you probably suffer from some form of carbon guilt, um, as I like to call it. And um, some of you would go off and buy, you know, you subscribe to some carbon guilt program where you, where you, you know, you pay your money and you offset your guilt and um, you know everything's all right you can consume your life away like you normally would and um, anyway people do that you can do it for 264 dollars a year according to this um, program on the bottom here um, this is actually a, <laughs> believe it or not from a bank um, and uh, let's have a look at that so this is for australia 24 ton 24 tons of emissions Per, per annum Australians emit of carbon, uh, carbon dioxide equivalent. That's, um, we, 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 we're the second biggest um, carbon dioxide emitters on the planet, um, only behind Luxembourg. Um, you guys are about 20 tonnes or something like that per person. Right. <laughs> so, um, now anyway, they reckon they reckon, and a lot of people reckon, a lot of you will be buying this sort of stuff. When you buy your Saab, you know, you do this, or when you go on American Airlines, you do this and that. You'll pay for a few trees. Now, in the case of this mob, you'll pay $264 for 33 square metres of trees. Now, if my, my math's not that good, but 33 square metres of trees is three metres by about 10 metres. Right? Am I right there? Yeah? Seems right. 33 by 10 would be about 30. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, now, correct me if I'm wrong as well, that most people who plant trees um, will plant them in about a, 12, a 9 to 12 foot spacing, won't you? Yeah, that's a sort of a standard spacing for planting forestry trees. So that means you, in that, I reckon you plant about 8 trees. For 264 bucks, and dream on that—that's going to um, give you 
20, that's going to cover your butt of 24 tonnes of carbon dioxide. You are dreaming seriously. Um, so, now that, you know, that's a bit of a laugh, but at the same time, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a, bit of a problem that we have because... I'm exposing this to you here. One day someone's going to put this on 60 Minutes and people are going to be mighty pissed and they're going to feel like they've been had and there's going to be lots of other very, very, very um, good carbon sequestration programs out there like of the like of um, Carbon Farmers of America which are providing a direct payment to farmers to sequester carbon in their soils. Um, they're paying $25 a tonne for every tonne. So you're a farmer, you're building soil, you're getting paid 25 bucks a tonne for every tonne of carbon, do carbon dioxide that you sequester. That's the market price. So you sequester 25 tonnes, um, you're doing all right. You really don't have to do much else, actually, apart from being a carbon farmer. Yeah, 